Swan Song is one of the most powerful apps available to musicians today. Available on any iOS device, it's an all-in-one stage management app designed to replace your mess of paper and binders with interactive chord charts and sheet music. It also allows you to control other parts of your performances, such as backing tracks, video projections, and lighting. The best part is, it's completely designed to be used hands-free with a Bluetooth foot pedal like Stomp. So today we're taking a look at how to set up and use your Stomp pedal with Hansong. First, you'll want to get your Stomp pedal paired up with your device via Bluetooth. Step 1, turn the pedal on. Step 2, open your device's settings menu, select Bluetooth, and turn that on. And step 3, under where it says My Devices, select Coda Music Tech. Once selected, the LED status indicator on your pedal will stop flashing and remain solid blue. And with that, you're ready to go. The next thing you'll want to do is figure out which of Onsong's in-app actions you'd like to trigger via Stomp, and then choose which of Stomp's commands you'd like to use to trigger those actions. To do this, open up Onsong and locate the foot pedal icon in the menu bar on the top of the screen. Select this, and then scroll all the way over until you find Custom Foot Pedal. From here, choose either Mode 1 or 2 on Stomp, and then press a foot switch. This will bring up the action menu for that particular command. You'll notice right away that there are a ton of options. So the simplest thing to do is to use Stomp in default mode, for which you just need to make sure that default is selected at the top. In default mode, the right and left foot switches with Stomp in mode 1 will allow you to flip between songs. And in mode 2, they will let you scroll up and down, moving on to the next song once you reach the end of one. If you want to use any of the other numerous remaining actions available, you'll need to configure it manually. To do this, open the foot pedal menu back up, choose a mode on Stomp, press a foot switch, and then select the action that you'd like that command to trigger. Now, we don't have enough time to go through every single available action, but here's a basic rundown of what you'll find in each section of the menu. Navigation allows you to control the song viewer and move through songs. Audio lets you control the playback of backing tracks. Auto scroll allows you to toggle automatic scrolling within songs. Device lets you adjust the brightness of your screen or the system volume. Gears allows you to use multiple actions on a single foot pedal. Lyrics projection lets you project song lyrics onto another screen. MIDI allows you to integrate with instruments or effects pedals. Media lets you control the playback of background videos. Messaging allows you to send messages to connected devices or screens. Metronome lets you toggle and adjust parameters for a click track. Scenes allows you to load and play lighting presets and background videos. Transpose lets you change keys during a performance. And finally, User Interface allows you to change or control Onsong's interface without touching the screen. There's obviously a lot to choose from, so make sure to try out different commands to figure out what works best for you. For more information, be sure to check out this portion of Onsong's user manual at onsongapp.com slash docs slash features slash actions. Another great part about using Stomp with a powerful live performance app such as Onsong is its ability to keep your device charged. You definitely wouldn't want your device to run out of power mid-show, so to avoid this, you can simply plug your device into the USB port on the back of Stomp and it'll remain charged. Keep in mind that Stomp cannot use this function when running on battery power. It only works when connected to a 1500mAh 9V power supply, which you can buy on our website. If you want to type out text while Stomp is connected, say to use Onsong's handy Sticky Notes tool, you'll need to put the pedal in standby mode in order to access your device's built-in keyboard. To do so, simply press both foot switches simultaneously. The LED status indicator will begin flashing rapidly to signal that your pedal is in standby mode, and now you can type out your text. Once you're finished, just press both foot switches simultaneously again to reactivate Stomp. And that's about all you need to know to get started using your Stomp pedal with Onsong. It's a powerful app full of possibilities, so keep in mind that it's going to take some time to discover everything that Stomp and Onsong are able to do when used together. For more information, be sure to check out both the Onsong website and our website.